Welcome to this edition of Able to Cook, the one and only program that in Vermont and beyond focuses on cooking for people with special needs. With me um, and with us today, um, my name is Lauren Seiler. Arlene Seiler. And with us today, we have Mindy Sprague of Washington County and Rosie Emmons. Rosie Emmons of Washington County. Welcome to Able to Cook. Um, this will air on uh, Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving week. Um, <clears throat> tell us a, a little bit about Mindy's story and um, what she's done because uh, we're gonna air, you know, while she's, uh, while you guys are talking, we're gonna run footage from before, but. Okay. Um, tell me a little bit about Mindy's story. So I started working with Mindy, it'll be five years in January. Mm -hmm. And we were trying to figure out what her niche was, what she liked to do. So we started to um, donate, well not donate, we started to um, make meals mm -hmm. and oh, on donation. Mm -hmm. And then they, she found out that they liked her meals. So we started what was called, what is now called Mindy's Lunchbox. Mm -hmm. And she makes a meal every Wednesday and sells it to the people at Grandview. Grandview, which is in Washington County. Which is a Washington County facility. It's um, a CDS, mm -hmm. which is uh, Community Developmental Support mm -hmm. Services. And you obviously you've been supporting Mindy and why she cooks and mm -hmm. what she does. Um, Mindy, what kind of uh, menus do you make? What kind of food do you like to cook? Um, I like to cook um, mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Spice and cheese is my best food ever because <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. I like doing that a lot. What, and else? what else? What else do you like to cook? Um, I see you brought brownies today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's your favorite. Yep. So here we have, um, obviously this is going to air um, after the fact, but we have a, a, you have a whole, it's the fourth annual autumn harvest meal to benefit the co-committee of Washington County Mental Health, um, the 25th of October. October. Yep. Explain that. Um, how that came about. How that came about in years past. Okay, so the first year, um, Mindy had been cooking since February, January, February, mm -hmm. and we thought it would be good to give back the community mm -hmm. and the co committee is a uh, community outreach activities team mm -hmm. and what they do during the holiday each case manager has a list of consumers that are the most neediest I mean they all need something but yeah. the most neediest so um, the case managers each give their list to the co committee mm -hmm. and they go through and find which ones are the neediest and due to funding, it's all by fun, fundraising, then they are able to help each family, mm -hmm. okay? Um, so I thought it would be cool to have Mindy give back to the community. Because a lot of times people don't think that people with disabilities mm -hmm. can do anything other than be there. And I wanted to show that there's more to it than just being there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you have this whole menu plan. Yes. You know, obviously, okay, um, you know, cooking is one of those things where you have to plan, mm -hmm. you know, plan recipes, or as they say in the cooking world, mise en place, everything, yep. you know, yeah, yeah. everything, uh, oh, we're gonna get into cooking terms, um, but, um, <laughs> everything in its place, you have a whole menu plan. Mm -hmm. Explain some of that menu. And, and, okay, you know. so um, we typically do 80 pounds of turkey. Um, that was last year. Last year we did 80 pounds of turkey and 27 pounds of roast pork. Wow. Um, we, Mindy's group is um, Friends Helping Friends Self-Advocate Group and they have actually started to help with us the last three this is will be their third year that they've actually helped with us mm -hmm. um, so 
we start like three to four weeks before because yeah. we do a bread sale just before to pay for the meal itself. Mm -hmm. And um, like and you're charging $12 per meal because it's just going back into yes. funding. It's going back into the Coke Committee to help mm -hmm. with the families. Mm -hmm. for, and, it's, and that money will be used for either presents for families that have um, children or sometimes they use it for a Christmas tree and Christmas mm -hmm. ornaments, um, gift cards for a meal, mm -hmm. holiday yeah. meal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so how many people, uh, um, obviously it's a lot, you know, you've got a, the turkey and the trimmings and the whole... How many people working on it or how many people do we feed? Um, Both. Feed. Okay, so um, typically, like next week, we're going to have three days of intense cooking and preparing. We'll have anywhere from five, four to five, six people, plus the staff mm -hmm. preparing. Um, we cut up all the vegetables and we roast them and, and prepare them for mm -hmm. Thursday. Yeah. Um, last year we fed 120 people that actually paid for the meal. And what's ever left over, we actually donate. Last year, we donated to the church, the Presbyterian Church, mm -hmm. which also feeds the homeless. Now, what if? Let's just say. Let's just say one. one case what if there's if. this? If there's a person in Washington County or that comes to the church or the event that cannot afford, we're food. not going to turn people away. You won't turn. Oh, that. That's my. We even question. have we even have some people that will buy tickets, mm -hmm. just for people who need it. Oh. I so we have right. some, some people that can't make it, but they want to donate. Mm -hmm. So they will buy a ticket and tell us give this to someone who needs it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're having roast you pork. Do homeless people. Um, we don't during the f the festivities itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But at the end, mm -hmm. everything that is left over goes to the Good Samaritan Haven or to the church who feed the homeless mm -hmm. quite frequently. So you're having roast pork, roast mm -hmm. turkey. I just make me hungry. <laughs> and we'll eat some brownies. And, um, roast pork, roast turkey, roasted veggies, which, in, which will include uh, <laughs> carrots, beets, squash, Onions and rutabaga, toss salad. I wish we had some of the food here. Um, <laughs> well, you can always come next Thursday. <laughs> yes, we will. We will, um, w and we'll be there with camera also. Um, uh, cam cranberry sauce, gravy, pie, pea. Oh, it's just um, for more information. Um, you can call four seven nine twenty five zero two. Yeah, um, um, but this will air after the... Yes, of course. So Don't call the number when this airs after. Uh, right. We'll definitely be at the um, harvest meal. Um, tell us a little bit about, well, last time when, when we... Um, uh, last time when we uh, got you for episode one uh, for Able to Cook, uh, we saw you do a whole barbecue. Thank tell you. us a little bit more about... You know, why do you really like to cook? Um, cooking it, cooking's fun. Okay. So this is more like a hobby for you. Harvey, um. <laughs> okay. Is it, okay, he wants to know, um, what, why do you like to cook? Does it make you, how does it make you feel? Oh, it makes me, um. Feel good. It's earning some money. <laughs> you know. It makes me. It makes me feel good. And why does it make you feel good? Cause I like doing it. Yeah. I like doing it mm -hmm. a lot. You feed people. Mm -hmm. I feed a lot of people. Yeah. I feed a lot of people. Obviously, by this, <laughs> yeah. you're gonna have a meal. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, but why call? Why call it the harvest meal? Is there a reason behind the name? Because. Basically, a lot of the stuff is harvested in the fall, you know. Um, well, why not do it? My question is, I hope you guys don't mind me asking it. Um, you're doing it in October. Thanksgiving is not until November. And I know why. Um, because is there a reason? Yes, there is a reason. Um, for one thing, the co-committee starts shopping for the holiday season 
before the holiday. Oh, okay. And a lot of these vegetables are harvested in October. Mm. So mm -hmm. they're fresh. They are easier so to come you guys, by. So um, the meal will be brought to the church or you're cooking in the church we, kitchen? Or? We will make a lot of it, prepare a lot of it to be put in the oven at the church. Mm -hmm. um, the meal itself isn't served until 12.15. Mm -hmm. Mindy and I will be there at quarter after eight in the morning. Yep. Yep. And yep. then we have people who take, um, who pop, buy takeouts, and those will be served at 11.30. Mm -hmm. They will come and get their takeouts. So you're going to be serving approximately 100? Last year we did 120 people. So far in just takeouts we have almost 40 takeouts. Wow. wow. That's just a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. 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 So. Um, so, okay, you brought some brownies today. Mm -hmm. Let's break out the brownies. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is, is dessert your best? Um, yes, it thing is. Did you like to do? Yes. What are in the brownies? In the brownies, it, um, it has chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, okay, take Eggs, it. eggs. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, mm -hmm. Flour. Mm -hmm. And what else? And a whole lot of love. Oh yeah, <laughs> and sugar. sugar and butter okay. and butter and, and that's that's vanilla and vanilla and that's what the brownie is. Okay. Yeah. Um. So <laughs> this uh, tasty. You want to see them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> brownie. <laughs> okay. You want to split a brownie because you can't have well the whole one. You want a whole one? Yeah. All right. Hold on. It, 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 looks, it looks yummy. <laughs> All right. And this. And this was actually on the menu on Wednesday. Yeah. On, on the menu. Oh, so every Wednesday you do. You want one menu? Yeah, sure. I think this one. Um, every Wednesday you do the meal. So explain. Thank you. Mm. Uh, explain a little bit about the meal that you do on Wednesday. Mm. Okay. So Wednesday's meals, mm -hmm. um, basically. Like I said, five years ago, mm. we were looking for a niche for Mindy mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. occupy her time because we're with, e with each other six hours a day, mm. and you can only walk around the mall mm. so many times. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that mall, my, my opinion is, in the mall in Barry Montpelier, there used to be a big restaurant there. Mm -hmm. They don't have it no more. Mm -hmm. Open one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was, might help. Mm -hmm. um, so, so we figured out that Mindy liked to cook, mm -hmm. but she was yeah. afraid of burning herself mm -hmm. and afraid of cutting herself. So when we first first started it, she was afraid to even turn on the stove mm -hmm. and yeah. do anything around the stove. Mm -hmm. So um, over the last five years, she will use the knives now. Mm -hmm. She will turn the stove on, she will put yep. stuff in the oven, take things out of the oven, and take hot pots and oh, yeah. drain the water out. Yep. Mm -hmm. So she's, and as you saw on the last, the last show. show, she yep. works on the grill. Yeah. So she has come, she is. Do, do you teach her safety mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. you know, uh, having a pot holder there if she needs it? or? Yep. Um, yeah. What about cutting with knives? Um, I mean, how does that work with the safety with her? I'm usually with her doing knives also. Mm -hmm. So we'll both be chopping at the same time. And if her fingers get too close, I show her different things to mm -hmm. show her how to keep her fingers from getting yeah. nicked. Yeah. And not um, go under. Yep. Mm -hmm. And um, we also do, um, when she's carrying the knife, she knows she, that she has to walk with it down instead yep. of walking with it up mm -hmm. so that it c not saying that she's going to fall but in case she falls it doesn't injure yeah it doesn't injure her mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. now um so what has been the previous <laughs> menus like what are some of the menus that you guys have okay on so wednesdays, on wednesdays so what have we done men 
we've done? Um, do you remember some of them? Some of them. What did we do last week? Last week we did. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't with, remember. With, with guacamole. Oh, we we did. Um, taco bar. Taco bar. We did taco mm. bar. Okay. And we did. Um, it was ground beef and. Ground beef and, and hamburg. Oh, well. We usually have um, either turkey or beef mm. yep. for those yep. who yep. can't have the extra fat of the beef Do you itself. guys, um, so do you guys work off the menu based on cost or? We actually decide on the menu and yep. then go from there. Yeah. Yep. Um, we shop around a lot. Yep. You know, one week we'll shop at Price Shopper mm -hmm. because something's on sale there. One week we'll stop shop at Shaw's because there's a sale there. It just depends on the sales, and um, a lot of times we will look beforehand to because you can you can view the flyers online a lot of times, mm -hmm. and we'll figure that out. She also yep. buys things when they're on sale and stores them. Yep. So. Mm. So. This is a good thing because you teach you how to budget. Mm -hmm. You're working on kitchen safety. Mm -hmm. um, what is your opinion about people with special needs cooking and getting out there and being independent? They just need a chance. They need somebody to believe that they can do it. Yeah. Um, for the most part, a lot of times we've grown up with this mentality because they're special, mm -hmm. they can't do anything. We're all Look special. Look how Gordon Ramsay, I mean, because you never know. Because <laughs> there, there are, I'll give an example. Uh, uh, kitchen Nightmares. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a, I mean, I mean, I mean not Kitchen Nightmares, um, Master Chef. Mm -hmm. In one of the seasons, season three, there was a woman, Christine Ha. She was completely blind. Mm -hmm. Okay? And she passed and did this and um, became Master Chef. So what is your opinion about people with special needs in the, in the culinary field? I think it's great. Mm -hmm. I mean, somebody's given them an opportunity. Somebody has given them an opportunity to expand their horizons. Mm -hmm. Whereas years ago, I mean, years ago, they You're wouldn't have been. Talking about de <coughs> Yeah, um, I have an older brother mm -hmm. that <coughs> is. You okay is three years older than I am, and wow. he was at Brandon Training School. Mm -hmm. I mean, back then, people were stigmatized. You have a learning disability, and you're not going to learn. they sheltered workshops. Yep, and they weren't, mm -hmm. they weren't allowed to do a lot of the stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I'm giving Mindy the opportunity to <laughs> find a different areas and different things that she can do. Mm. Yep. And uh, encouraging Mindy, her. In your opinion, do you want to explore more culinary opportunities? Do you know what that means? Mm, no, I don't. Okay. He wants to know. Um, do you want to expand Mindy's lunchbox? Cook more. Yes, I do. I like. I want to cook. Yeah. I, yeah. Challenge Gordon Ramsay, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and then, who knows? No, because he does give. A, a, I, I've I've read his blogs and things. He does give people with disabilities chances in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Who knows? You might she can go on top. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Um. But what? Um. Do you see this more? Uh, no. I, have you besides Mindy? Mm -hmm. Have you worked on help helping to train, helping to work with other people with special needs, or does she help? Does she? Um, do works you, just with me. Yeah. Um, she sometimes has friends that come down to help out with her, mm -hmm. and I'm training everybody. I'm, <laughs> I do so everything. I mean, okay. The other participants in the program, do they help Mindy? Um, what do you mean? Uh, this program that Mindy does. Yeah. It's no, well, no. My my point is, um, I'm trying to. About oh, her women. friends helping friends group. No, in other words, when Mindy cooks mm -hmm. on Wednesdays, mm -hmm. is it only her cooking, or is there, a is there other people helping within within the preparation? Um, mostly it's Mindy. 
Okay. It's just Mindy and I. Um, once mm -hmm. in a while, she'll have friends come down, mm -hmm. yep. and they want something to do. And if she's got a really big, con big meal or a lot of different components that need to be done, mm -hmm. then if they ask, what is the biggest meal that mm -hmm. you've done? The harvest <laughs> meal. This is the <laughs> biggest. That. That is the biggest meal. Um, we have catered once for the GMSA board meeting a long time the ago. The Green Mountain Support, support mm -hmm. Services. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh. Green okay. Mountain Sub. Yeah. Self advocate. Self advocate. Green Mountain Sub. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let me just, we have a couple minutes left. Um, remember, this is pre taped. Don't call this, this is going to air after, but uh, you're going to. Uh, have the, the menu is going to be um, roast pork, roast turkey, roast veggies, um, tossed salad, green bean casserole, uh, one of my favorites, um, <laughs> mashed potato, um, homemade gravy, cranberry sauce, pies, um, not just one pie, not just <laughs> pumpkin, but you're going to have uh, pecan and apple. Mm -hmm. um, don't forget the lemonade, the tea, the coffee. Um, tickets are available at the door. Um, is it? Is this? You have to have reservations. No. You don't. No, I just, I just like putting that so we know a ballpark how many people are coming. No. Um, okay. We can, we take walk, walk-ins. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, yep. And again, if you can't afford, you won't turn anyone away. Nobody. Because everybody deserves a meal. Um, anyway, um, Mindy, uh, would like to now. Uh, what is her future goals? You're gonna keep Mindy's lunchbox open. Mm -hmm. Bring more brownies. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> Mindy but, also paints too. So oh, no, tell I us do. a little bit about that. We have a couple minutes left. Um, I like I like to paint. Um, when I um. Do my painting. Everybody likes it because mm -hmm. I do a good job on it. Mm -hmm. um, there's no, there's Rosie on Rosie's phone. She has this one that I did. It's a long canvas and it has a, a scarecrow on it. Wow. Me and Rosie was working on that for a while. Mm -hmm. Thir Thirty hours. Thirty mm -hmm. hours. Thirty hours to do that. It's like a four yeah. foot just, tall by. Just in time for Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's four by three. Wow. Four by three. Um, yep. Yeah. Wow. Mindy is also now the treasurer of her self advocate group. I'm mm -hmm. a new treasurer. Yeah. Wow. yeah. I'm a new treasurer. Yeah. 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 And she yep. was speaking at the legislative breakfast yesterday. I was, wow. and I did so. awesome. I did good. Mm, okay. <laughs> you gave the breakfast at home. Yeah. Well, yeah. we didn't cook, but oh. yeah. She, Okay. Yep. He's got a little rest. Anyway, <laughs> um, anyway, thank you for joining us on the yep. edition of Able to Cook. Uh, for more information on uh, on this meal or any other meals that Mindy cooks, you can call for uh, 802-479-2502. That number again is 479-2502. This puts an end to Able to Cook. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone and their families. Um, and I'm Lauren Seiler. I'm Alan Seiler. See you next time on the next April to Cook. Stay cooking. <laughs>